But speaking of crowning a number one contender, who is going to face Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship on April the 16th at Backlash? We are set to find out right here tonight in Greensboro. It is main event time. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds. Austin Theory! New theme song, same swagger. Austin Theory walked into WrestleMania and walked out the victor, spoiling the return of the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And this young man is riding the biggest high, possibly in all of world wrestling entertainment. But tonight, Austin Theory's gotta be focused because a shot to face Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship at that state. And a man he knows very well, the franchise John Cena will stand on the opposite side of the ring looking to accomplish the same goal. Here he is one and two against Cena. Can he even those scores here tonight? And here comes the franchise. Cena is in the house on SmackDown! And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! John Cena kicked off WrestleMania Sunday with a big time victory over the glorious Robert Roode. And now Cena back on the blue brand tonight, and he is looking towards Austin Theory. But is John Cena looking through Austin Theory? Because if Cena can go one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre at Backlash, well, if you remember recent history, dating back a few months ago on SmackDown, Cena owns a victory over Drew McIntyre. That was leading up to the Royal Rumble where Cena punched his ticket to meet then world champion Seth Rollins. So Cena no stranger to stepping foot in the ring with Drew McIntyre either. And if Cena can get through Theory tonight, you gotta believe the 16-time world champion is gonna feel more than confident heading in to Minneapolis, Minnesota on Sunday night, April the 16th. But nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, once again, it is main event time right here in Greensboro on SmackDown. Austin Theory, John Cena, locking horns yet again. Who is gonna get the upper hand in the early going? Looks like Cena will do so. And I'm sure the new world heavyweight champion Drew McIntyre, the man who took down Seth Rollins, sent him packing a Monday Night Raw thanks to the draft lottery. I'm sure McIntyre has got his eyes locked on this matchup, awaiting his first challenger for the big gold belt. Drew McIntyre, a man who never steps down from any challenge, so I'm sure he does not have a preference on who he'd like to face. I'm sure a match against Cena might see a little bit more respect. I'm sure anybody in the locker room would love to wipe the smirk off Austin Theory's face, but nonetheless, Cena, look at that. Nice counter, sunset flip to go to Backlash, not just yet. These men know each other well after they pushed each other to their absolute limits on multiple occasions last year. Again, John Cena defeated Austin Theory last June at SummerSlam. And it was the night after Extreme Rules last August where Austin Theory retained the WWE Championship against John Cena on Monday Night Raw. And the situation bled all the way so Thanksgiving night at Survivor Series, which we've been referencing a ton tonight. It was a very historic night over the last year where John Cena defeated Austin Theory in a last man standing matchup. Ever since then, Austin Theory's been off on Monday Night Raw. John Cena's been here on SmackDown. They meet again thanks to the WWE draft and an ultimate opportunity at stake. Cena went for another cover there. Theory able to kick out. I think Cena knows that Austin Theory is no easy challenger to keep down, but trying to get in the head and possibly throw Austin Theory off his game. Here he was the WWE Champion. I'll bite for just over a month last year, but the young man has already made major waves in his young WWE career, and he can't count Austin Theory out if he were to fight Drew McIntyre for the World Championship at Backlash. A man who has got all the tools to be a mainstay in the main event. And I'm sure it's only a matter of time before all day Austin Theory is back there yet again. And if he keeps up this offense, we better stop mouthing off to John Cena. Better keep the offense going. As long as he keeps it up, he may as well. 
will be fighting Drew McIntyre on April 16th into the cover on John Cena and Cena gets the shoulder up. We saw how tough Austin Theory is at WrestleMania when he survived an onslaught from the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. Had blood trickling down from the forehead and still was able to sneak away with the victory. Whether you like Theory or not, there was no by hook or by crook. He did it fair and square, clean as a whistle at WrestleMania. And of course, so did John Cena over Robert Roode the next night on WrestleMania Sunday. Both these men deserving to be in this spot. Both deserving challengers for Drew McIntyre, but at the end of the day, only one of them can go to backlash. Cena trying to steal the victory here, not just yet. Cena catching Austin Theory off his game. And although Theory is a former WWE champion, that's still some of the naiveness in the 25-year-old Austin Theory. Cena caught him there. Theory had nowhere. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Cena over the top, or excuse me, through the ropes. Suicide dive. John Cena throwing caution in the wind all the means to fight Drew McIntyre at Backlash, but there's Austin Theory making sure Cena can't mount some offense. Theory thought he could get away from Cena for a moment, but John Cena going uncharacteristic there, diving through the ropes to take out Theory. Meanwhile, Theory lays out John Cena on the outside. And this is not good for the franchise player of World Wrestling Entertainment. Austin Theory can be very dangerous on the outskirts of the ring, and he's proven it right now against John Cena. That suicide dive may be coming back to haunt the franchise. Referees at a count of six. If both these men get counted out, then I guess both of them will be ruled out for backlash. We'd have to find a new number one contender for Drew McIntyre. Nonetheless, Theory back in the ring. John Cena gonna hustle his way back inside the squared circle. And Theory, what a pump kick to John Cena. But again, Theory turned his back to Cena. And I don't think that's a good idea because there's a German by the franchise player. Never take your eyes off a man who has been to the top of the mountain 16 times over. A former WrestleMania main event. A guy who's been the face of WWE for damn near 20 years. Now Cena heading to the top rope. Theory is on spaghetti legs. Cena slingshotting himself almost halfway across the ring with the crossbody. And will that do it? Not just yet as Theory gets the shoulder up. Highly competitive matchup in your main event on the first Friday Night SmackDown of the year. We are live from the Greensboro Coliseum, Greensboro, North Carolina. Friday night, March the 24th, 2023. And we are in the midst of a number one contenders match between Austin Theory and John Cena. The winner's gonna fight Drew McIntyre on April 16th at Backlash in Minneapolis for the World Heavyweight title. And oh man, Cena sending Theory for a ride over the top rope there. Nothing pretty, but certainly effective. Referee begins the count out, and I'm sure John Cena isn't looking for a count out victory here. Cena always liked to get it done inside the squared circle, but John Cena gonna take a moment to catch a breath and he can't blame the 16 time world champion. Cena may still be in top physical condition, but at the end of the day, he has got some years on Austin Theory. Can he go the distance compared to an all day Theory? Cena obviously with more big match experience, but Theory has been here in the past. Will he crumble under pressure or will he thrive against John Cena tonight? Theory looking to bring the record between these two men to a piece. Cena looking to get the massive upper hand, three to one. Not necessarily what it's all about here tonight. A chance to fight McIntyre for the world title is certainly more important, but some bragging rights are always there. Nice Luthez by Cena. Oh, wait a minute here. John Cena looking for a little, you can't see me, a little five knuckle shuffle on Austin Theory. Into the cover to go to Backlash. That's gonna do it, no, Theory gets the shoulder up. And you remember back to December the 9th of last year, the SmackDown All-Star kickoff in Las Vegas, Nevada. It was John Cena, Drew McIntyre, Robert Roode and Seth Rollins in a four-man elimination matchup for the World Heavyweight Championship. John Cena eliminated Drew McIntyre on that night with the five knuckle shuffle. Both men had each other scouted there. A couple of reversals. Now Austin Theory finds himself back in the driver's seat of your main event. 
As we were mentioning, though, Fury kicking out of the five-knuckle shuffle, a move that McIntyre has felt in the past, and I'm sure he would prefer not to feel again. Theory up over the top rope there. But again, that has really been the detriment of Austin Theory to this matchup, keeping his eyes off of John Cena, gloating to the audience here in Greensboro, soaking in the lights in the pageantry and taking his eyes off the 16-time world champion who dives at Austin Theory there. Not sure if he caught all of it, but he certainly caught all that one. Might be able to find Austin Theory's head in the third row after that clothesline. John Cena is fired up in your main event. Now Austin Theory again finds himself fighting an uphill battle against the John Cena. Now Cena, look at this, going for maybe a pump handle here, no. A double underhook, Austin Theory counters. Theory goes behind, and STO takes Cena off his feet. Theory's gotta stay on Cena here, wait a minute. Going A-Town down on John Cena. Theory is gonna go to backlash, not just yet as Cena gets the shoulder up in the last second. Cena was going for a trip to the ATL. A-Town down, but Austin Theory not able to put John Cena away just yet. Can never count out the franchise. Never give up is not just a slogan. It is how John Cena fights all of his battles from bell to bell. And John Cena will not stop until his heart stops pumping blood. He wants to fight Drew McIntyre more than anything at Backlash. Coming off the top of the elbow. Will that do it to the heart of Theory? But Austin Theory muscles the shoulder off the canvas again. What an incredible main event we are witnessing here tonight. Theory taking Cena off his feet. Can Cena get back into this matchup? As Austin Theory's got Cena up again. Down goes the franchise. And I do not like Cena's chances right now because Austin Theory is really digging deep in the bag of tricks and throwing everything he's got at Cena. And that may do it. From the top rope, uncharacteristic of Theory, but it's still not enough to keep Cena down. What is it gonna take to hear the three count tonight? To hear the bell toll again? Cena trying to build some momentum. Austin Theory cutting him off there with the lariat. And Austin Theory again mounted off to Cena, mounting off to this capacity crowd here in the Coliseum in Greensboro. He better keep doing what he just did, and that's grounded and pounding on the franchise player of WWE. Theory unloading on Cena here. Theory might be asking himself what the hell he's got to do to keep John Cena down and out for good. And that backbreaker may have just done it. Cena again gets the shoulder up, but Austin Theory, he's got to stay focused. He cannot allow Cena's survival to mess with his psyche in this matchup. And that's if Austin Theory can even get his wits about him. As Cena's looking for a knockout blow, and he's looking for it right now. Austin Theory to his feet. John Cena whips off the opponent, follows him. Oh, look at this. Monkey flip there by the franchise. Sends Austin Theory dead center of the ring. Cena's still fighting right now, but you gotta wonder the damage that he took against Austin Theory. Theory threw a lot at Cena there, went A-Town down on numerous occasions. Cena's still got heart left in him. Now trying to deliver some stiff elbows to the back of Austin Theory. Theory may be off his feet, but can't take your eyes off that young man until you hear the three count. There's a counter by Theory. Wait a minute. Look at this. He's got Cena all kinds of tied up there. And he drops him right on the knee. Theory into the cover. And there's no way Cena. No! Cena gets the shoulder up again. I was about to say there's no way Cena can kick out again. And there he is doing it. And a Austin Theory. Countered by John Cena. Cena is still fighting. He wants the world championship more than life itself. Cena's got theory. Attitude adjustment. Cena gonna punch his ticket to April 16th. No! Austin Theory kicked out of the AA. You have gotta be kidding me. We are witnessing one hell of a fight just for the 
opportunity to challenge for the world championship. If we're seeing this kind of fight out of these two men tonight, imagine what the winner is going to bring to the table against Drew McIntyre when we get to the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota on Sunday night, April the 16th. I'm sure the tank has got to be on E for both of these men, but somehow they are still swinging away. Cena survived A-Town down. Theory survived the attitude adjustment. Austin Theory getting taken out with a hard blow to the jaw by John Cena. Cena's got to be wondering, the same as we were questioning with Austin Theory, what is he going to have to do to keep Theory down tonight? He's done it in the past, so is Austin Theory. But Austin Theory, we can really say, has probably only gotten better since the last time these two men fought. And John Cena is dealing with possibly a whole new bag of tricks out of the young man. Here he goes for a shot. Cena absorbs the blow and now squashes Austin Theory into the corner. Now John just trying to put the hurt on his opponent tonight. Cena wants to become a 17-time World Heavyweight Champion. But the only way he's going to get that opportunity is if he can get through his old rival Austin Theory here tonight on SmackDown. Theory on the outside. Here comes Cena with a senton off the apron. You want to talk about throwing caution in the wind and going uncharacteristic. Look no further than Cena taking things to the sky tonight. And Austin Theory able to counter there and send Cena right to the barricade. Cena might have avoided it there. Now Cena, look at this, reverse suplex on the outside of the ring and down goes Theory again. The matchup rolls on. What has been one hell of a main event to kick off a whole new year here on Friday Night SmackDown. From this time next year, we may be talking about how this was one of the best matches of 2023. Austin Theory eating the ring apron there. John Cena going to send him back into the ring, the only place that Cena wants to get his hand raised tonight by pinfall or submission. Cena bringing him in. Nice slam there by the franchise. Does he still have what it takes, though, to keep Austin Theory down? The man who defeated Robert Roode at WrestleMania. Austin Theory defeated Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. But who will be the one getting their hand raised tonight on SmackDown? Cena's been in control the last few minutes. Austin Theory looking to get back some of that momentum, however. Makes his way to the second rope. Kicks Cena off there. Goes for the missile drop kick. And John Cena got out of the way. Crash and burn. Oh, wait a minute. Cena stacking up Austin Theory. And he got him. He got him. John Cena stole the victory right out from un underneath Austin Theory's nose here tonight. Well, both men survived everything in the kitchen sink. The five-knuckle shuffle, A-Town down, attitude adjustment. None of it was enough. Cena stacking up Theory with that roll-up to get the victory here tonight on SmackDown. What a main event. Here is your winner, John Cena. Well, Austin Theory may not be happy with the result, but it was clean as a whistle. Now coming up on April the 16th at Backlash, the franchise gets the opportunity to become a 17-time world champion when he battles the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre, in SmackDown's main event in Minneapolis. Well, what an awesome night here on the first Friday night SmackDown of the year. Theory and Cena pushing each other to the limit, but John Cena's on his way to Backlash. Thank you for joining us here tonight. We will see you this Monday for Raw and next Friday night on SmackDown. Good night, everybody. Game face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm around.